A historic theater is preparing for a big celebration. And you could say it's a century in the making, it's primarily happening. because it was a century in the making. <laughs> yes. And it's happening in your community, the Virginia Theater's 100th anniversary. Here with a preview of The Bat, we have TV host and designer Doug Wilson back, as well as actors John Tilford and Grant Morenz. 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 Okay, welcome. So earlier we were talking with Doug and, and how the Virginia is getting ready to celebrate this December, their 100th anniversary, with The Bat. So what can you tell us about it? Well, uh, we don't know a lot about it because we haven't started it yet. Uh, we, <laughs> got it's the, ways off. we got the script. Yeah, it's not until December, but uh, it's basically it's a murder mystery. Uh, it's very, uh, it's actually, I read a little bit of the script and it's excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think uh, we're having people come back that uh, I've acted with for years and years and years. So uh, we have Sue Aldridge, who was my middle school acting teacher. <laughs> And we have John Stuff, who directed me over 30 productions in high school. So wow. it's kind of gone. Now I've performed, you know, in theaters across the country and the world, and now I'm coming back and working with the people that helped me get started. There's so probably that, maybe that's a little more neat. pressure performing in front of your middle school teacher. Well, right? yeah, performing with her. Or, yeah, I'll be on stage with her. She might have to reprimand me later. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that, I don't know how that works. Oh, yeah. For those who missed it earlier, this was the very first production that was ever done at the Virginia Theater, and 100 years later, to the day, they're bringing it back. Um, was this something you asked to be a part of, John, or they asked you to be a part of? John Stuff emailed me and asked me if I would be involved in it, and I said, I, absolutely. It's not till November. Um, I can work that around my schedule. Um, he, I think it would be a great... I've worked with John. He's a great director. I do have a part of The Butler, which has to be reconfigured for this time and place. Um, Why is that? <laughs> there are not some things PC. that are not very politically <laughs> correct I can that were okay PC back then, then but are <laughs> not quite so PC right now. So. Any examples? No. Oh, no. 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 Oh, Always no. stirring the pot. <laughs> That's why he's here. <laughs> You know, Doug said you all were his friends. Is that true? That is true. Okay. That do you have any good true. Doug stories oh, for us? I do, but they're more over drinks. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying we shouldn't lead into the 5 o'clock news with said yeah, stories? <laughs> well, well, Grant actually worked for me yeah. in New York City. Yeah, I lived with Doug for, well, we lived with Doug for what, yeah, eight months? It's something like that. Wow. Yeah, when I first got to New York. Felt so. like six I was going to, yeah, I, I knew I, that I, was coming <laughs> from one of you two. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same type of thing. He, I'm the straight man. Um, yeah, but he, <laughs> so yeah, it goes like that. But yeah, no, we worked together, and uh, he gave me uh, my help in New York and everything, and then, yeah, so we've been friends ever since. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and John and I have only met, you know, through other friends and briefly. So I, I know John, but not like I know this one. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys feel like the community is already starting to support this in small ways? I know we're still four or five months I away from the production. I think people are in the mode to get back into the theater period in, in any yeah, way yeah. Yeah. shape or form there are several things that are happening locally that are just getting started and and taking place yeah, so, wh what is happening well in the um the first weekend in august uh parkland theater is hosting uh the kingdom of dreams we talked about that yesterday mm -hmm. on the yeah, show yes which great. i'm involved in and twin city theater company has just started rehearsals for the drama Doubt, which will be in Monticello. The Monticello Theater Group was kind enough to let us use their space. So we're we're getting things back into and rolling. What about the station's theater? I don't know. They had, they had play selection right. for, yeah, uh, for the fall. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what they do is they how they do it, they do submissions. Yeah. So you'll have people submit plays uh, and then they'll select them for the season. Yeah. Uh, so they're definitely gearing up for the fall. And uh, it's so nice to summer. be talking about things like this again right. this year. Right. Right. Last and year Parkland has been been their yeah. theater season, so yeah. people are getting back it's into it. You know, we talked earlier about volunteers and, and the assistance that they're going to need to put on the you know high caliber show that they want to. So if anybody wants to volunteer, go to J Miles Goldberg at Yahoo.com. And, of course, okay. the Virginia.org is uh, the website for the theater. All right. We'll okay. point you that direction. Thanks, guys. Yes. Good luck as oh, you start uh, you. rehearsals. Who gets to be Batman? Say. Does anybody know? <laughs> no. Well, the <laughs> secret. I mean, oh, it's a secret. Yeah, they're, they're That's not oh, revealed until the end of the play. What, oh, okay. What role are you playing, Grant? But they just said male lead actor. I don't even know. 
You don't Sounds know? like a good one. <laughs> yeah. you, you've, got, you've got it down, I'm sure. There's sure the information no on your screen, by the way, December 28th through the 30th, 7 p.m. there at the Virginia. And all the details, you can find those at our website, which is CILiving.tv. All right.